what is up YouTube? Today I got an unboxing for y'all. A special unboxing actually. I got these for an insane deal. Before I get into that though, I'm here to tell you that Roger Reviews is back. And it's back making tech reviews, shoe reviews, you pretty much name it pretty much. So I'm back. So because just due to quarantine and all that, so I'm planning to bring this uh, YouTube channel back to where it was before. So without further ado, let's get into this insane deal. Air Max 90 bolts for $71. So st quick, quick run through about how I got it for this little. I found a, uh, I believe it was a Dick's discount. First, I actually found a, a deal at Finish Line. This brought it down to, I think, 90 bucks. So I looked at Dick's online and there was a discount for, I believe, 20% off. So I took it down from 120 and I think it took the price down to around, I wanna say, like 70-ish dollars. And because I had a, a uh, new Dix account. I had, I had a bonus 10% off. So I was able to bring it down to a staggering $71. So crazy, right? So I was like, this is an Instacop. It's an OG colorway. So I was just kind of like, it's a no brainer. So yeah, so with that out of the way, let's look at the shoes. So these shoes have a, I believe, it's a really narrow box. Like, you can look at this, like, if you know Nike, they make really wide boxes. I mean, well, not really wide, but just like normal size shoe boxes. So this is pretty narrow from Nike standard. Um, as you can tell, the colorway is Volt, obviously, and it does match uh, quite a few of their collection that has a Volt colorway. Also, notably, it also matches your Apple Watch. If you have the Apple Watch Nike Plus Edition, it does have a Volt color uh, on its watch face preset, so you actually could, in theory, match the shoes with your watch face. So yeah, so getting back to this, you have the Nike Air branding on the shoe, on the box, sorry, and Nike Air branding right here, size 11. So yeah, let's prop these guys open and show you what's inside. So getting into it, the first thing you see is the anatomical arch supports, uh, size large due to the size 11. So that out of the way, oops, I dropped that. All right, so here's the left shoe. And wow, this is color pop, you know? So this would be an insane color, color way to, you know, wear during the spring and summer months. Honestly, it's a pretty nice color way. It does really cool. It's an eye-catching one, huh? And you got the Nike Air on the back. And one thing I've noticed that these shoes are pretty deformed. Look at that, if you can tell. On the left side of the shoe, it's kind of just caving in. These shoes are pretty tightly packed. Honestly, let me set this down. Look at that, there's a little tear you can, you can see it right here. And that's just due to it being pretty narrow. So I know that the box is pretty close to its OG style. I believe if you, if you have the infrareds, they came in this exact box. And that's crazy. So let's get the box out of the way and let's get a look at this shoe tag. So, like most Nike sneakers and most Nike Air Max sneakers, I believe some, whichever have the Nike Air tech inside of it, they do come with hang tags. I know the Jordan is famous for that. So, what's really cool about this sneaker though, and I saw this in the pictures before, the Recraft pack does have corresponding Air tags with the color of the shoe. And I do believe that there is a wall colorway, a pink colorway, a teal colorway, and hyper purple, and should be hyper orange. I could be wrong on that one though. But yeah, all, all the all the Air Max 90s in the Recraft pack do feature this hang tag with corresponding uh, corresponding to the color of the shoe. And it's honestly an eye-catching shoe. It, it'll be really good for spring and summer months. Hopefully we get out of quarantine then, but if not, you know, it's still a great shoe all around. Uh, if you can look at the heel, you have the Air Max right there. And honestly, it's pretty close. The color blocking is just like the OG infrared, and I really do enjoy this color blocking the most. Um, yeah, if you can look, look at the whole entire shoe right there for you. Um, I do like that it has a leather kind of going around the entire sneaker. And then if you look over here, there's like this suede. And I remember reading part of the Recraft pack, they're gonna use premium materials, but honestly, this suede that they promised isn't, it feels more of a microfiber cloth. And then kind of running my, right here. Due to the fact that these shoes are in a really narrow box, they kind of squash each other. If you can look right here, there's a little indentation here. And I get this, an indentation right here. And that's just due to the shoes being crazy tight. Honestly, if I can take a look at the toe or like the shoe tree inside the paper shoe tree, I don't think it's that big one. Here's that for you. It's pretty tiny and it makes sense why these shoes didn't really hold their shape. Um, but yeah, getting back to the materials though, uh, the suede is more of a microfiber cloth feeling. It, it's really interesting. And I do believe that this colorway was retroed once in 2006. I could be wrong, but and it, it featured a white or a lighter gray swoosh right here. So 
it, it's pretty close to how the Volt looked like before, but honestly, I think Nike really rocked it with this shoe. I mean, it is crazy how close it looks to like an OG colorway. And I, this is an OG colorway for sure. Um, but yeah, they got the mesh down. The materials are pretty much on point with this shoe. So honestly, if you could find this still like sitting in stores, honestly, buy it. These shoes are insane. I mean, I haven't seen them like past 120 in pricing and i believe that most retailers are like knocking slashing prices right now so if you can find this for below retail these are an instant cop for me this is a no-brainer to cop so yeah i really like the materials used i mean just the only gripe is just the suede not feeling much like suede nubuck but yeah honestly a great pickup and first impressions wise this is insane so yeah if you're looking to get some Try to look out for these. These are definitely below retail. I believe StockX could be below retail. You're probably averaging like 90 to 80 bucks price range, depending on size. But yeah, I just really wish that they weren't too narrow, but that's my only gripe. I would, honestly, I would rate this like a 9.5 9 out of 10, just first look wise, but I'll probably give you an updated detail view, uh, review about how well these perform, like just day-to-day -day walking and all sorts of things. But yeah, so here's gonna be, I'll feature a on foot, y'all enjoyed the on foot of the air max 90 bolts that i have right here and honestly i could say that these are the most comfortable air max i've probably owned in a while i don't remember the air max as being as comfortable as they are now and these are like a retro being a retro that's insane because i did have the air max ones before and they did not feel as comfortable as this pair right here and i get these are the air max 3 technically so they must have had some sort of improvement from the air max 1 i get that but honestly these shoes felt like just walking on bricks at the end of the day and just all around not as comfortable and i really just did not like them as much and i've owned these for four years so it must be maybe like the upper being a nubuck kind of suede finish um but honestly i these are gonna be these were just awful <laughs> these are gonna be a great su successor for them um honestly but yeah stay tuned for a review of how these perform longevity wise hopefully i can get these out if not i might have to push the review out until like we can actually go outside properly i don't want to be breaking any laws in my area so honestly we'll see but these shoes are insane by i honestly do not like the fact that i did put my feet in these and i might have to put on some force fields because this toe box area just did not get it my big toe sits right beside this little indentation so it makes it a little bit hard to fix this like to make it conform to my feet but i could say the upper started to form to my foot naturally as i tied the shoes a little bit and kind of got them to fit me kind of like uh to my feet but yeah all around though i just did not like the fact that the shoes were in a really tight box i felt like nike could have went with a little bit wider box i mean i get the sake for the og-ness of the shoe but honestly they could have went a little bit larger uh for my liking but all in all great colorway great colorway for the summer months spring months and honestly you can't go wrong with these you can find these for below retail right now i believe it's StockX, as i mentioned before 90 bucks i did find these for 71 you can probably find something crazy like this again they must i'm pretty sure dicks has an extra stock of these i do not know what sizes to be exact but if keep your eye out these will probably hit a more um discount later on you might even find these at the nike outlet if i'm not wrong because these things sat so um it's roger reviews signing out stay safe be sure to wash your hands and catch you in the next one guys